Now, in 27 years, obviously you've talked about hills and valleys. Do you believe in marriage counseling? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. I've never done it, but Lord knows I wouldn't mind doing it at all. Even personal counseling, but marriage counseling, I definitely believe that it can benefit a couple before they get married, which we never did. Yeah, we didn't either. It can benefit a couple while they're married, um, just to have like an unbiased person, um, their opinion, you know, to help you kind of communicate better because I can say something to him that he may be sensitive to and he may be defensive about what I say. Mm -hmm. And then because he'll be defensive about what I say, then it turns into whatever. I mean, this just happened the other day with something and I was like, I didn't even say that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it became like something else. It became yeah. something else. And mm -hmm. it's like, oh my gosh. So yeah, I think marriage counseling is healthy for couples and is not a bad idea at all. And honestly, I would like to have marriage counseling because we've been married so long. We're not the same people now that we were when I was 21 and he was 29. And I mean, our kids are older and well, our little one is growing, but nonetheless, it's just different. You know, there's, we change, we're changing all the time. So it'll be nice. It's interesting when you said that you're still learning in 27 years of marriage. That, that's insane to me. Yeah. Because I know. We should have, we should totally be like in sync in the program by now. I mean, and, and in a lot of ways we are, but I feel like because we're, we've changed and we've evolved over the last 27 years, there are still new things to learn about each other. You know, like we were talking about a vacation that we're planning to take this year. And normally the way it's been is he's like counting on me to like take care of everything, mm -hmm. you know? And I'm like, okay, I'm going to take care of everything, but we need to communicate about it so that you know where we are with the financially and, you know, sticking to our budget so that we do when the time comes have that, that money set aside for our vacation. Mm -hmm. Um, and that sort of thing. You can't just go and just do, spend Wait. what you want. Right. And then expect me to still come up with the vacation that you're expecting. Yeah. So, he was like, yeah, he, he agreed. And I was like, okay, good. That's great. Yeah. So <laughs> we're always, I honestly feel like we are always learning. And I feel like our starting over with another child definitely cha changed a lot of things too. Because mm -hmm. we'd be empty nesters right now had it not been for having another baby. Yeah, yeah. later on in life. So it's, we, so we have a lot of learning to do still. I feel like we're always evolving and always learning. So one of the, in, in my reading of, of different marriage books and research, a lot of the couples talk about the reason why they've been so successful in their marriage is because divorce is off the table. I talk about how it's not off the table for me. Yeah, I read that in your book. And I have deal breakers. Yeah. You know, um, and Ray has deal breakers. Yeah. <clears throat> is that, do you feel like that's the case in your marriage that divorce is off the table there's no right or wrong answer it's i just... know i agree totally i would like to say yeah it's off the table but um early on in our marriage when our our oldest was two she's 25 we broke up i left and um i just wasn't i just wasn't happy with like who i chose you know i was a little like okay he's not so nice right now you know and i didn't i wasn't happy and we made some, he made a lot of changes and stuff and, and I was ready to get divorced. And then when I came back and then we had another daughter, um, and we moved to Georgia, we were living in Florida. It just felt new and refreshing, you know, but then as the years go by, it's, there's so much, it's a lot of work. Marriage is a lot of work. I mean, it's, you know how they say it's 50-50? It's not 50-50. It's 100 a 100 You know, 50-50 is divorce, honestly, because then you got to split everything. So it's really hard to give 100% of yourself all the time and, you know, always be happy about it, quite honestly. You know, that's kind of how I feel. I would like to say it's off the table, sure. I would love to say that. Um, and... Maybe it is off the table, but there have been times where I'm like, I don't know. 
<laughs> but I mean, yes, it's off the table. And if I experienced a deal breaker, I would know it when it happened. Yeah. That's the best way that I could describe it. Yeah. Okay. Now, in your relationship, you've had your heels and valleys, your trials and tribulations. And when you go through those issues, those times when you're like, oh, you know what? Is that a time when you talk openly about those issues with your family or your friends? Do you do, you do that? You know, last year was a really rough year for us, for me, for us. If it was rough for me, it was rough for us. And I, you know, we were in our last house um, for 20 years. We raised our two older girls in that house. Um, and then it came time to move and sell the house. And, you know, Al thought that our old house was gonna be on the market for like six months and we were gonna have all this time and this transition and, um, so we were plant. he didn't realize it was all going to go like really quick and it all went really quick and it caused him severe anxiety um, in a way that he just kind of checked out on me for a little while through the process and it, I was really pissed. Mm -hmm. I was really pissed. And um, I shared a lot of my frustration with friends. Yeah, with friends with girlfriends and um, I can honestly say that I would never do that again. Mm -hmm. I would never do that again. I even shared stuff with my mom and I don't want to do that either. Like it's, it's the sad thing is, is like after you do that and then you guys get back and get and your, and get your bearings back on and life is kind of calmed. And once we got moved and everything settled, we're good, right? Like things are, kind of feeling somewhat normal, um, but the opinions of your friends remain remain towards your husband. And, you know, he even saw a friend of mine at, at an event, I don't remember where we were, and he asked me, he was like, hey, what's up with so-and-so? She kind of treated me bad. And I was like, really? I don't, I don't know. And I was trying to play it off, you know? No, I mean, you had said. Yes. Um, and then yeah. I thought, oh, that's not cool. Like, no matter what, you know, it, still my husband, like, you know? So, yeah, no, I, I, and I've known this before. This is the interesting thing, is I've known this, like, I was super protective of that stuff with my husband. And then I got to a point where I was like, you know, there's no such thing as a perfect marriage. So what if you share some things that bother you with your friends? Your girlfriends can probably relate and have some common things that are going on like that too. But what I learned from that um, is that I was right when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And I sh that's, not, that's nobody's business. It's nobody's business what kind of challenges I may or may not have in my, in my marriage. And I have to protect my marriage. So yeah, I would never do that again. <laughs> That's good insight. Yeah. I didn't think about, you know, yeah, you know that you're, if you say something to your, about your spouse to your friends that they'll keep that in, but as far as treating him differently. Right. To his face. Right. That is something that, you know, I didn't, I wouldn't expect. Right. right? I, t I tell you this in confidence. It's in confidence. And what if, yeah. what if down the line, you and that best friend are no longer no that close anymore? Like life happens, right? Things change. People, people move on. Are they talking about my business with other people yes. now? Are they sharing my intimate things that I shared with them and trust? I hope not. Yeah. But at this point, oh well. Yeah, and I can totally relate to where you are. It just brought something in my head. Like somebody... Um, that I thought was very close to me has not been very supportive of this whole venture that mm -hmm. I'm on right now. And it's because of when Ray and I were early in our relationship, how much I was bitching about what was going on in our relationship. Yeah. It's just like, that was years ago. Right. You know, and you're still harping on how I'm not. Right. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. Right. right. So why can't you be happy for me? And it's just really, it's very interesting. It's an interesting dynamic. So yeah. Yeah. Keep it, to, keep it to ourselves. Keep it to yourself. Well, and the marriage counselor. And the marriage counselor. <laughs> you know, I learned that marriage counselors don't really give you opinions. 
I know, well, I feel like that's all therapists, right? That's what I that's what I thought though. I thought that they were like the rule, you know, they were the, the game changer where they say this is the right thing. Right. And that's not really what they do at all, you know. Yeah. It's interesting. But 